Hello everyone, welcome to NFTV. Newcastle Fans TV. Yes, hello everyone, I hope you are doing well. Must start first of all, our thoughts, everybody's thoughts, Magpies. Two Army fans across the world with Terry McDermott who has been diagnosed with dementia. Uh, for everybody from across the world, we wish Terry and his family all the best in his battle against this horrible disease. But moving on, so after the absolute shock and display at Villa Park, which most of the lads were down there, which was great to see Carl down there, Johnny down there, Harry, myself, Sam down there as well. Um, what does Steve Bruce do now? Does he rotate the side? I think I think that will happen. But just going on, the, the two performances, Newcastle have come away from two defeats, conceded loads of goals. Uh, we're going to talk more about Newcastle very, very shortly. We're going to talk about Burnley as well. But this video is proudly sponsored by Manscaped. Attention viewers from across the galaxy, all the way from Australia to Newcastle. Do we have a pew problem? If so, our friends at Manscaped have you cleared off a takeoff with the fourth generation brand new lawnmower 4.0. Kick your pubes onto the next planet with the performance package 4.0. The orbit in your pants will feel like you're in zero gravity when you use the best tools for the job from the leaders of male grooming. Join the 2 million men worldwide who trust Manscaped and get your rocket ready for takeoff by going to manscaped.com for 20% off and free shipping with our code NFTV. Now, if you're like me, you'll never ever go to cheap razors because you don't want to cut yourself down there and it hurts and it gets you out of action in bed. So make sure you get on a Manscaped. Ready for an out-of-the-world experience, blokes? Looking further than the performance package 4.0 from Manscaped that has taken off not only in the USA, not in Canada, but in the UK and across Europe, Australia, South Africa and Singapore. Inside this package, you'll find the Loma 4.0 trimmer, the Weed Whacker Ear and Nose Hair Trimmer, the Crop Preserver Ball Deodorant, Crop Reviver Toner, Performance Boxer Briefs and a Travel Bag to hold your solar system. See what I did there. First schedule for liftoff, the Loma 4.0 trimmer. This spaceship is here to guide you on a journey to trim your body, balls, arse and even Uranus. This fourth generation trimmer also features a cutting edge cimeratic blade to reduce grooming accidents thanks to their advanced skin safe technology. The Loma 4.0 has a whopping 7000 RPM motor. Incredible. A new multifunction on and off switch can engage a travel lock and is even waterproof. The Loma 4.0 also has a 4000 LED spotlight so you can turn it on and off whenever you need it for a more precise shave throughout your travels across the universe. You can see it's so easy to go across your face. I use it to do my face so so good you need to get this the performance package 4.0 also includes the weed whacker it's like having a little astronaut to chop your worst weeds up top in your nose and ears the weed whacker is also waterproof and that uses a whopping 9000 rpm motor powered 360 degree dual blade system this nose and ear hair trimmer provides skin safe technology so you don't have to pluck your nose like this bloke is which helps you prevent nicks snags and tugs on those delicate holes don't forget the crop preserver bold deodorant and the crop reviver to help your little planets to be on their air game while feeling the sun's heat manscaped even throw in two free gifts with their performance package 4.0 which includes the manscaped boxers and the travel bag i bought hairy balls and buzz lightyear that woody with manscaped remember 20 percent off and free shipping with our code nftv at manscaped.com 20 percent off premium products with our code NFTV over at manscaped.com. Your dick and balls need some help. For a clean and trinity and beyond, your space balls will thank you. Yeah, so honestly, guys, you need to get these. You really need to do. This is the Manscaped 3.0, which is brilliant. Absolutely brilliant, right? This is the new bad boy that we're talking about in the video, the Manscaped 4.0. Get 20% off, honestly. Get down in the description. Have a look at it. It's you're not just them, you get 20% off anything. Wonderful, absolutely wonderful. Right, let's change it. So we're here to talk about the preview. So, what does Steve Bruce do then? Does he change the formation? Because this is a kind of a game to try and lift the morale, I feel, with supporters. And and even the players themselves have just came away from two defeats, conceding shit tons of goals, six goals, 
Burnley are coming to St Andrews Park, having been beaten off Brighton, which you probably say is a relegation candidate, a rival, and then they've been beaten off, off Liverpool, which you would expect them to go down to Anfield, because we would. So both teams are probably expect to rotate. Burnley we know play four four two. That won't change, even with a couple of rotated players in there. I think that will happen. Sean Dyche will still treat the competition fairly strong. There's only two Premier League ties. It's us and Burnley and and it's Palace versus Watford. So we're a little bit unfortunate both sides to get another Premier League side. But I think Steve Bruce will give the opportunities to a few players who are on the bench. Maybe even Jeff Hendrick because you know, he's a former Burnley player. Matty Longstaff could be going out the door. He might be giving some minutes perhaps. Sean Longstaff might start. Dwight Gill hasn't barely got a kick. He hasn't had a kick. So far, he could get run out. Joe Linton could. Javier Mancuso might come in from the cold and play a right wing back. Jamal Lewis is another one. Does he give Richie a rest? Does he change the goalkeeper? I personally wouldn't like to see the goalkeeper change because we've only got Mark Gillespie. I feel a little bit more safe with Freddie Woman. I think Woodburn just needs to carry on playing a run of games and see if he can keep Darlow out the side. I wouldn't change the goalkeeper. I think there will be changes. I don't want to say loads. Unfortunately, I think that will happen. I think Wilson might come out, and I think it'll either be Joel Litton or Gale up top, and you might have some of the bigger boys uh, sitting on the bench, like ASM might drop to the bench. Um, I, I could see that happening. I really could. It's it's not going to be glamorous football, I don't feel. I think it's it's you know it's only a tenner to get in, so if you get your tickets, do it before match day. It's a fiver for the band, so there'll be loads of kids there. The atmosphere is probably going to be a little bit flat. Because it's going to have that kind of friendly vibe to it. I just hope Newcastle get through it. I just feel that it needs a bit of a lift already after two games. Because if you can win against Burnley, just win the game. Then you go into Southampton for me. Southampton's a massive game. Because if you get if you get beat off Burnley, right? Then you're going into the Southampton game with three defeats. And you're already out of a cup competition. You're, you're third bottom. And then, you, then you're playing against your rivals. And if you get beat off Southampton, man. I just feel a win is really important on Wednesday night. I really do. I think you've just got to win. I think the performance for me goes out the window a little bit. I think you've just got to lift that morale amongst the fan base and amongst the players. doesn't matter how you win, whether it's a penalty shootout or we win three fours. Who cares? We've just got to get through. And then going into Southampton, which we'll talk more about later on in the week in the channel. Let us know what you think. How you, how, you, how you see this game. Do you agree with me that we need it just for the morale? Do you, do you not care about the League Cup? See, I do. I like cup, cup competitions, me. Because it keeps the hope up. Although we're never going to win now. It doesn't wrong. It keeps the hope up for the season. Because look at Brentford when we got put out of this competition last season. It was an absolute fucking piss take. But that gave us hope, you know. Um, but there's going to be a few of us there at the home game. There was no live watch long. League Cup games are very hard to get a hold of. So we're giving the online team a bit of a rest. So we were bringing you scoring the players. And the last word from the ground. And we're going to get one or two of the lads to do a instant live reaction. Straight full time so you can interact with them in the live chat. But let us know what you think in the comments down there below. Go and get yourself a manscaped. Tara everyone. Bye bye.